Next into the tank and hoping to ruffle the feathers of the chicken keeping market is West Australian Danielle Paraha. It's very surreal that I'm here. I've created a product that allows people to keep chickens without all the flick and chicken mess. Hi Sharks, I'm Danny, the creator of the Chicken Orb, the foraging accessory that gives people control over when, where and how their pet chickens forage. I'm here today to ask for $100,000 for 5% of chicken orbs. In Australia, there's over 400,000 households with pet chickens. Chicken Orb has been designed to allow chickens to walk wherever they want, but it restricts their access into garden beds. The Chicken Orb has a multi-million dollar potential. So Sharks, would you like to help me get these Chicken Orbs rolling? Ah, oh, yes, mm -hmm. got it. Danny, tell me how you even came up with this. I was trying to live a more sustainable life in an urban environment. And so I started growing my own and producing my own. So I was trying to allow these chickens to forage more because I knew the benefits for them. Unfortunately, they were also destroying my yard. They do dig up the ground. They do dig holes. So I started twitching wire in my backyard and I, that's how my first prototype of the chicken orb was created. The first thing that comes to my mind being a, an animal lover, isn't this cruel? This is a temporary accessory, not a permanent enclosure. I just recently bought a farm up in Mylor, South Australia, a beautiful place, and it came with three chickens. So, and I did let them out, as you said, and they did cause a lot of mess. Through really? Them. Yeah, as they dig a lot, they flick everything. So I understand the need for it. The chicken orb is designed to give them more freedom. So you can spread food out for them. Chickens actually recognise over 25 unique sounds. Do you speak any of those sounds? <laughs> I do, but I'm not going to today. <laughs> Come on, we're on your national television. <laughs> It's gone viral on TikTok. We've had over 19 million people view this. Wow. How many orders did you get? So out of that, we've, we've increased to over 100 orders. And that has actually increased the sales. Run us through the financials of looking for $100,000 at 5%, which puts a value at $2 million, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so run us through how many have you sold? Sure. At what price? So they're $69 each. So, so far with e-commerce, I've sold over $40,000 worth of, of the chicken orbs over five years. Over five years? Wow. Oh, sorry, since 2020, so three years. How many did you sell last year? Last year, I only sold, um, sorry, $13,000 worth of stock. What will your sales be this year? Yes, so at the moment we've more than doubled sales from last year and we're at 40,000, which is double all of last year so far for the first quarter. I just want to understand the numbers. You did 40,000 this year? Yes. I guess here's what I'm really asking. Yes. You said something magical happens, we went viral, and then we sold $40,000. Yep. Which would be really exciting. Danny, what am I doing wrong with the math? Uh, so the night, so, um, sorry. So the first year we sold $600 worth of stock. Um, and then last year, um, I cut off the top. So how did you, how did you get to the $2 million? My projections are that we can achieve a thousand chicken orbs a month within the next 12 months. How? I'm going to increase my marketing. Okay, this is a bit cluck and mad, but cluck I think. Did you just say cluck and mad? I said cluck and mad. If you're hitting viral videos, they're not all chicken owners, they're all just like 
what is going on here. So they're going to the website to explore. So for us to suddenly apply such a large valuation just based off a couple of viral TikToks, the proof just isn't there. So unfortunately, I'm out. No worries, thank you, Davey. Danny, I'd never seen anything like this, so I think the novelness of it is, is outstanding. But to be honest, I know that this is cages to save the garden, but I'm still just challenged about seeing a chicken in a cage. Sure. I'm out. Thank you. Danny, I think that if you would have stepped in here today with a more reasonable valuation, then I would be willing to take a flyer on you. The valuation just isn't making sense for me. I'm out. Thank you. Danny, I think it's so innovative what you've done in the design and finding a solution to a problem and just like getting hands on and doing it yourself. But to have made $13,000 in sales over the last 12 months and to ask for a $2 million valuation, it's just too much of a stretch. So I'm out. Thank you. Denny, chicken, lady. I don't worry as much about valuation because I can control the equity. I could have made you an offer on that. My issue, I guess, is um, when you're going to ask an investor for $100,000, it's real money. You got to know your numbers. Today, you didn't. I'm out. Thank you. Thanks, Sharks. Thanks, Denny. Thanks. Thank you. Unable to get the ball rolling on a deal, Danielle leaves the tank with nothing. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this, so the nerves just got the better of me. I know that there's demand for the chicken orb, so this won't be the end of it. 